can you make a Roth IRA contribution without any income, even without a job? The short answer is yes and no. It really depends. So in this video, I want to show you exactly what you should take a look at to make the Roth IRA contribution so you don't have any taxes or penalties or end up in some hot water with the IRS. But before we get into it, if this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name is Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner, helping you reach your financial goals. So I want to start with the Roth IRA the contributions and talk about two terms, and that's tax evasion and tax avoidance. And they're very important definitions that you need to know if you're kind of going down this path of whether or not you can make these Roth IRA contributions without any income or without a job. So let me go ahead and pull up on the screen the definition from Wikipedia on these two definitions. So let's start with tax avoidance. So Tax avoidance is the legal usage of the tax regime in a single territory to one's own advantage to reduce the amount of tax that they are paying by means that are within the law. So this means tax avoidance is legal and tax avoidance is something that we talk a lot about on this channel. How can you avoid paying those taxes? Now there's a huge difference between tax avoidance Okay, and I'm going to pull up this definition and tax evasion. You do not want to have tax evasion. This is a big no. So tax evasion is the illegal evasion of taxes by individuals, corporations, and trusts. Tax evasion often entails taxpayers deliberately misrepresenting the true state of their affairs to the tax authorities. So that is really important right there. The taxpayer deliberately misrepresenting the true state of their affairs. So if you just go to your tax return and say that you earned income when in fact you did not, that would not be the true state of your affairs and that would be illegal. That would be tax evasion. And that's because what you're doing is trying to say, I have more income than I actually have. Therefore, I'm going to put this money into the Roth IRA for the sole purpose of evading the taxation on those dollars when and hopefully they grow. So that's what you're trying to do there. So that is a huge no. But the real question is, when can you put money into the Roth IRA without a job or without any earned income? And there are a few different ways that you could take a look at this, but we need to also make sure that you understand what the contribution limits are, the income limits, and what qualifies in order for you to make those contributions. So there's really three components. So let's start with the one that you might already know, and that is the amount that you can put into the Roth IRA. So for 2020 and 2021, according to the IRS's website, it's $6,000 that you can put into the Roth IRA. If you're 50 or older, you can do what's called a catch-up contribution and put an additional $1,000, bringing that total to $7,000. But it's not just the contribution or the amount that you can put in that's important. You also want to take a look at the income limits. So the income limits for 2021, and these do change every year, so you want to pay close attention to these. It depends on your filing status. Now, I've gone over in other videos and I'll do future videos, but here's a quick brief overview of what those income limits look like. So if we're married filing jointly, as we can see right here, 198,000 or less, you can contribute into a Roth IRA. Now, if it's over that, it's what we call the phase out. And the phase out has a little bit of a calculation that goes into it to contribute a reduced amount, whether that's 6,000 or 7,000, as your income increases over that threshold for married filing jointly, it's going to be reduced downwards and it will completely phase out when you make 208,000 or more and that's for modified adjusted gross income. Now you want to pay attention to that calculation which I've done on other videos to make sure that you qualify if you're close to those thresholds. But these are the income phase outs and the income thresholds that you want to pay attention to. I'll also point out for singles and head of households that's under $125,000 
And when you go from 125 to 140,000, it begins to phase out. Anything over 140,000, you no longer qualify to make those contributions into the Roth IRA. So right now we have the contribution limits of either 6,000 or 7,000 into the Roth IRA and those income limits depending on your filing status. But the way that you can get money into the Roth IRA, let's take a look at those first two definitions that we talked about with tax avoidance and tax evasion. You can't alter your tax return just to put money into the Roth IRA. However, even if you don't have any earned income or don't have a job, if you're married filing jointly, you can do what's called a spousal contribution. So that is a technical way that you don't have any earned income yourself or a job, but you can do it based on your spouse's income. You still have to meet those income thresholds, but you don't have to have earned income yourself or a job. So that is one way. Another way is whether or not you're receiving taxable alimony. And this will depend on when you were divorced or when your divorce decree was signed. And that changed on December 31st, 2018. So really 2019 and after, it's all gonna be non-taxable alimony. So that means you can't make those contributions into a Roth IRA. But if it was prior to that, then you can still make those contributions. And according to publication 590A, the list is right here. In the IRAs, inclusive of what's called earned income or for purposes of compensation, it's wages, salaries, commissions, self-employment income, taxable alimony. So that's that taxable alimony that we just talked about and separate maintenance, non-taxable combat pay qualifies and taxable non-tuition fellowship and stipend payments. Those are, those are all included or able to contribute into the Roth IRA. And then doesn't include earnings and profits from property, interest and dividend income, pension and annuity income, deferred compensation, income from certain partnerships, and any amounts you exclude from income. So that last one's really important. Any amounts you exclude from income would not qualify in order to make the Roth IRA contribution. So while you can make the Roth IRA contribution without a job or any personal earned income, you need to meet one of those requirements that we just talked about and do not increase your income if that income does not exist because that would be tax evasion, not something that you wanna do. And that is how you make a Roth IRA contribution without any income. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.